All right, guys. Well, as you can see, I'm starting the day pretty early. As luck would have it, I'm getting a free weekend to myself. So I'm going to use it to get some stuff done with the boat. My plan for today is to hopefully get the flooring in. I want to go and get the plywood to do the flooring. I'm also picking up the boat carpet and some aluminum angle to frame in the seats to get it ready for the hatches. All right, while I'm back from the hardware stores, um, I had to run to a few different places. First stop was Lowe's. Um, I had them cut the board into size for me. I had them cut it a little bit bigger than I'm gonna need to make sure that I can really make all my tolerances nice and tight. Uh, so that's gonna be the first thing I do is test fit that in the boat. Um, I picked up an eight foot foam board. I measured the ribs before I went and bought it. And the, the ribs are like just a hair over an inch. If you can see here, I cut a little piece just to size it out. Since on this lip, it's really close to one inch. For the flooring, I did go thin. This is 11 32nd, so a little bit bigger than quarter inch, smaller than half inch. I'm really trying to keep the weight down on the boat and with enough support, the thickness of the plywood shouldn't really matter. So the method I'm using to seal and get the floor ready for installation is going to be based off of Anthony Jones's video. If you guys haven't seen that, I highly recommend it. Basically, once we have our wood cut to size, I'm going to be notching up the ribs so it sits nice and flush. Then we're going to be sealing it with the fiberglass resin. I was able to pick this up at Lowe's. It was about 16 bucks for it. So we're going to get the wood sealed with the fiberglass resin. Then we're going to sand it down and I got some carpet glue. I think it's rolling around in the truck right now. And and then we're gonna glue on the marine carpet. Carpet I got was from Menards. It's called Auto Marine, and I went with the gray color. It was about $25 for an eight foot roll. So next steps, I'm gonna be fitting the plywood onto the boat, see how it fits, and then get some measurements to trim it down. Well, even though this is some thinner board, this is still, it's still wood, so it's still pretty heavy. All right, so what I'm doing now is I'm just gonna cut off about a quarter inch from the end here. I'm gonna give it a little bit more clearance for the carpet once the carpet gets wrapped around the edges. Go ahead and mark this off and see how that looks. Looking good, it definitely fits in here now. That'll definitely uh, account for the carpet. Okay, so what I did was I tried to get it as level as possible. I used two pencils to get an even space on that side, which then actually happened to match up pretty well with the spacing over here. And I'm uh, confident now in being able to mark out my ribs for cutting them out with the jigsaw. It's a pretty thin rib, so I'm not gonna go crazy with it. Something else I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a line and measure the top of the cut uh, to make sure that's all even. I went to every notch and I measured inside uh, to two inches. And then I'm gonna do lines across on each edge. And then that cross section will give me my exact shapes to do. That way they're all even. I'm gonna cut in two inches with the jigsaw. This is a measurement of like the center portion. The actual rib is gonna be straight dead center. That's the clearance I'm going for. So I'm gonna give it a little bit extra room to wrap the carpet around. I'm gonna go ahead and get the jigsaw and cut out these notches and see how it fits. Okay, well, freehanded it with a jigsaw. I think it came out pretty good. Let's just go see how it fits. All right. I could have probably cut my notches out a little bit smaller, but honestly, this gives me some room to move this back and forth if I need to adjust it. And the carpet's probably gonna fill those in. So 
Next step now is getting this sealed up with the fiberglass resin and working on the foam. Since this is basically raw plywood, there's not too much prep that needs to be done before we do the fiberglass resin. Right now, I'm just brushing off any of the uh, sawdust so we have a nice clean surface to work on. This is the resin, this is the hardener, it's just like epoxy. Gotta mix some of this with some of that. Paint it on. All right, so it says we're doing two drops of hardener. The ratio is 10 drops per ounce. I have four ounces, now we need 40 drops. Okay, I've got a stir already. Now 40 drops. 38, 39, 40. And it says we have about seven to 10 minutes of working time. I got all the resin on. I did the whole top layer and all the edges and interiors. It's not too bad to work with. I think the temperature today, it's like 50, so that's probably not helping it. I think I ended up using more resin than I probably would have. It's okay because we got a really good coating on it now, really saturated. So I'm excited to let this dry and uh, we'll check back on it in a couple hours. In the meantime, time to start work on the foam board. All right, so I just measured out all the sections of foam I'm gonna use. I'm gonna cut it across, and then I'm just gonna strip it out to the sizes that I need. That's close. Okay. Pretty good. Okay. That one in there now. All right. So we got all these pieces in here. Um, everything has a nice tight fit between the ribs. I still need to cut this piece here. I have that extra piece there. This is the one I was just trimming up, but I was able to just kind of bevel the one edge so now it sits flat. Fiberglass is still drying. It's looking really good. It's starting to glaze over. I'm gonna give this a couple more hours since it's pretty cold today. Really happy with the foam. I'm gonna get this last section here cut out so that way all of the foam decking is ready to go. I'm moving along. We're making good progress. I'm gonna get this last piece done, get this area cleaned up, and give that some time to cure. Next steps for building the flooring, we'll be sealing the underside, wrapping the carpet, and getting it installed. If you guys want to follow along with the John Boat build, or you're interested in other boating or fishing content, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next video. If you found this video helpful, let me know by hitting that like button. Part 2 is going to be out really soon, so I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.